Haribol and Namaste to all. Welcome to Congregational Kirtan. Here to start off, we introduce to our host for today, Ma'am Nari Andasi. Haribol Namaste everyone. A blessed day and a blessed evening to all. Welcome to our Congregational Kirtan. Pass a mic program and share gems of this love. We're live in Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, VK, Zoom, Zymocast. I'm your host, Narian Dasi, live here in San Pedro, Laguna, Philippines. We subscribe my humble obeisance next to the To start the power share of the gems of wisdom, by Sarah Chayadas, a disciple of His Holiness, Chagat Guru Siddha Swarup Ananda Paramahamsa Prabhupada, and His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. The title of the lecture is it all boils down to purpose. Let's welcome Sir Chayadas. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining and staying online. Namaste everyone, nice chanting, before speaking I offer my respects to my teachers, to our lineage and to the Supreme. Om Maginati Mirandasya Aginajana Salakaya Chaksuru Militanyena Tasmai Sri Gurve Namaha Bhaja Sri Krishna Chaitanya Parunityananda Sri Adwaita Gnadar Sri Vasudhi Gaur Bhakta Vinna He Krishna Kauru Na Sindhu Dinavandu Jagatpate Gopisha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostate Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Hari Bol. So, um, <clears throat> continuing on this rather long series we've been doing, My Life's Compass. Just as a little summary of our journey so far, we started out with a statement by one of the world's leading environmental scientists who stated that, and in his words, the top environmental problems are selfishness, greed, and apathy. And to deal with these, we need a cultural and spiritual transformation. So he dismissed the idea that science and green energy, etc., was going to fix the problems because the problems way deeper. And in exploring the topic, <clears throat> what, what he was saying, um, I mentioned about a massive shift that began in the very early 1920s with the influential and powerful forces of the world making a fundamental decision to change the way everybody was thinking. And it was um, summarized in a statement by a banker uh, from Lehman Brothers, one of the board members, Paul Mazur, who in 1922 famously stated, we must shift America from a needs to a desires culture. 
People must be trained to desire. Man's desires must overshadow his needs. And of course, this principle was one of the founding or underlying principles in the whole uh, consumer economic system um, promoted in those times by um, Lord Keynes, um, who, who recognized this tremendous need to transform people, the way people are thinking, if you want to have economic development. And this was pointed out in 1970 by a very brilliant and humble um, economist from, from the UK, E.F. Schumacher, who wrote the, the brilliant book, Small is Beautiful. And in speaking to the fundamentals that were being promoted by Keynes, I mean, Keynes said, we need to cultivate in people both greed and envy if we are to succeed in building a new economic powerhouse in the world. So E.F. Schumacher wrote that economic progress, Keynes counseled, is obtainable only if we employ those powerful human drives of envy and selfishness, which religion and traditional wisdom universally call upon us to resist. The modern economy is propelled by a frenzy of greed and indulges in an orgy of envy. And these are not accidental features. They are the cause of its expansionist success. The question is whether, um, sorry, the question is whether such causes can be effective for long or whether they carry within themselves the seeds of destruction. So that was quite prophetic that in 1970 he was already pointing out this, this reality. But of course the, the problem is we've become so stuck the, the, the problem of states of consciousness is you can't just snap out of it. States of consciousness are the product of deep conditioning. People get conditioned by ideas. Mm -hmm. We are told what direction to head in, what we should value, what we should hold dear. And soon we are adopting it as if it is our own ideas. We become part of that. I, I always have this recollection when I talk on this subject of uh, when I was um, young and, and a little bit out there, 18 years old, um, savagely into hallucinogenics. And uh, you, you encounter somebody on a bad trip. They're just hallucinating and going crazy and just crying and freaking out. And you can tell that person, it's okay, don't worry, it's going to pass, you're going to be okay. That person cannot, they hear what you're saying, but your words mean nothing because they are in a certain state of consciousness and they're responding to another reality. That's kind of like what's gone on in the world where the vast majority of human society is trapped in this massive illusions about what the purpose of life is and what they should be doing and what's all important. And of course, the most corrosive and corrupting underlying principle that everybody has come to adopt and absorb is the principle of complete self-centeredness. Like, I'm the most important person on the whole planet. What I want, what I think, what I desire is more important than anything else. So in, in 2002, the documentarian um, Adam Curtis produced for the BBC this, this stunning 
documentary called The Century of the Self. It's, it's four one hour um, things. And it really examines that, that, that transformation that has taken place over a period of now a uh, hundred years. And in it, he summarized what he said the, the documentary was about. He said it was the story of the rise of the idea that has come to dominate our society. It is the belief that the satisfaction of individual feelings and desires is our highest priority. Ten years ago, a selfie would be considered weird. People taking constant pictures of themselves and what they eat. The idea of influences. You know, 15 years ago, somebody would think, wow, that guy's got a psychological problem. That guy's got a real, you know, a deficit for, you know, this desire for attention and, and stuff. And it's just and now this has become a normal part of life. I saw this thing on TV. They were interviewing school kids in New Zealand about what they wanted to be. One of the things high on the list was they wanted to be an influencer. It's like, oh my God, what the hell has happened when now our children put this on a pedestal as a highly desirable thing to do and everything that surrounds it? We have become so corrupted by these ideas and we cannot even measure, we can't, we can't comprehend how destructive they are to our peacefulness, to our actual happiness, to our fulfillment. And all the figures show us we're heading in the other direction. Suicide off the charts. Mental illness. I mean, everything is called a mental illness now. I don't agree with that. Just because you're depressed, there might be a really good reason. It may not be a mental illness. Maybe you've adopted a way of living. Anyway, I'll get to something connected with that in a moment. Probably get a lot of hate mail after this one. Not that I really care. <laughs> So the reality is that the, the messaging that has been, you know, produced by this consumer revolution over the past decades really deeply affects all of us. But since ancient times, yoga wisdom has called upon people to engage and to cultivate restraint. And that cultivation of restraint in all things, along with the cultivation of spiritual life, leads to self-realization and to happiness. See, the problem, the problem is that materialism preaches just the opposite. In materialism, there is no understanding and exception of the reality of the self. This, the false self, my body when it, and what it looks like, my mind and all the desires in it are put forward as the self. That is not the self. That is the false self. The true self is the eternal spiritual being residing within, who now is absolutely malnourished and abused and discarded and replaced with these vain gods of greed and envy and self-centeredness in the extreme. And it's not even the real self, it's the false self. And that, that is the result of ignorance. It is not the result of knowledge or of enlightenment. It is directly the result of ignorance, cultivating ignorance or, or avidya. So 
all of the messaging of r real. And today there's just so much fake spirituality. It's rather sickening. Unfortunately, I have not a great deal of tolerance. I probably shouldn't talk like that. But, you know, people have taken so-called spirituality and just interwoven it with this self-centered obsessions that people have and the vainness and the pursuit of so-called material, temporary flashes of material happiness. And they make it out to be spiritual because you attach certain labels to it. No, crap, it ain't. Real spirituality is founded upon the cultivation of the appreciation and the vision of who I really am as an eternal spiritual being beyond the, the body and beyond the mind, my true self. So, in short, real spiritual cultivation calls for a shift from self-centeredness towards selflessness. Ooh. That's no longer even attractive because we've become so indoctrinated and conditioned by the, you know, ideas of, of self-centeredness that they've become so important. And as the environmental scientist points out, this is exactly what the problem is and why you will not fix the problems in the world through science and dickering around the edges. There is a need to go to the heart of the problem. This shift from self-centeredness to selflessness is a shift from serving myself to serving the Supreme Soul and to serving my fellow men. And of course, if anybody goes, well, why are you only saying fellow men? What about the women? It's like, don't you speak English? Fellow man is speaking of a race, the human race. So some years back, the Dalai Lama wrote a book on happiness. And he said, if anyone wants to actually experience true happiness in this life, only two things are required. And these two things are essential. One of them is to develop purpose in your life. And the second is to serve. These two things result in happiness. I, I, I think it's kind of tragic that people are so unable to serve fellow man, but we can serve like other species. We can pander over, you know, a dog or a cat or a budgie, but we wouldn't do that for another human being. And that points to, you know, a tremendous. This is a, a very sad situation where we have become so disconnected from where, where mankind or humankind has come from over the past thousands of years. You think that these modern times are enlightened times? No. If you examine the underlying philosophies and ideas that are being promoted, get past all the emotions and the buzzwords, you know, that perform well in polling, that emotionally play on us, and look at the hard facts of things. So this idea of purpose is fundamentally an idea of something bigger than myself. If your purpose is yourself, and particularly your false self, I'm sorry, you're going to have an unhappy life and your death will be quite miserable as well. I'm sorry, that's just a reality. 
I'll give you a little example. I mean, I, you know, we, we all know if you've ever done any act of kindness for someone, whether it's opening in a door, helping somebody with some, trying to carry a heavy load, helping a kid up who's fallen over, I mean, anything, anything that we do to help an animal even, Anything that we do in this mood of giving, which is what service is about, immediately lifts the spirits, makes you feel like, you know, that was nice. That was a good thing to do. Much of the problems of the world come from this self-centeredness. And I I had this amazing experience in, in one of the... Um, prison programs I run where there was a guy that had a history of being a a sex offender who himself now suffered from great shame and everything of what had happened in his life and even when he gets out after an extended period of decades in jail he's going to be shunned by society and everything and he was so overwhelmed he felt completely suicidal let me state that in, in, in depressive conditions, and I'm talking about them in general, and suicide, there is no one else there. This is like, this is self-centeredness and its most intense state. You don't see anyone else. You don't recognize anyone else. It's just you and this black hole that you are in. And that is why, actually, interpersonal connection is one of the best things for helping people in these conditions. So this guy in jail, anyway, he had finally decided that he was so over it, he's going to kill himself. Well, I'll I'll just tell you a side point here. You cannot kill yourself. You never die. You can't die. You are an eternal being. You kill your body and you move on, but you bring all the crap with you. You think it was bad now. I promise you it can get worse. That's a hard reality, and I'm sorry if anybody doesn't like to hear that. This person had made up his mind, okay, this is where I'm going to go do the deed. He had found the appropriate place where he could do it, and the means of doing it where he wasn't going to be caught and no one was going to stop him. He made the plan for the best time when he could do it. And then on the day that he had decided to do it, he went to that place and he encountered another person from his unit, another prisoner, who was in the process of killing themselves. It shocked him. And he immediately started talking to the person. And he saw that person's pain, the pain that they were in to be able to come to this point of engaging in this horrific act. And he was so moved by it, he began engaging with the person and talking them out of this decision and then spending time with them, helping them, and bringing them back to their cell and spending time talking with them. So I asked him, and so what happened to you and your plan? And when I asked him, he just like, there was this look of shock on his face because he had never thought in that way. And of course, the reality was that he instantly forgot his problems. He instantly forgot his situation and his self-centeredness because he had become completely involved with somebody else and their suffering and was reaching out to, to try and alleviate their unhappiness, their burden and their suffering. And because of that experience, it changed him. He never thought of doing that again. Side point, if you're ever in a situation 
One of the best things that people who are contemplating suicide can do is think about what's going to happen to the people they leave behind. The effect that they're doing this, the effect that it will have on their intimate relatives, friends, and associates, the fact that people within their family or their circle of influence generally, subconsciously, will now think that if this person committed suicide, hey, this is one of the tools in the toolbox, that down the road I can maybe do that. When people connect with this understanding, it is frequently, if not almost always, impetus for somebody not to do this. And it gets people, there is this shift from where it's only me and my problems and my unhappiness to now thinking about others and their problems and their unhappiness. And I regard this as, as actually proof of the fact that this is the shift that's, that's needed. We have lost this culture of helping others. It only, it only shows up when there's like an earthquake or a big fire or a flood and everybody jumps in and starts lending a hand. And anybody that jumps in and lends a hand and sacrifices time and energy and their sleep and everything to help people in tremendous need, they come away from it feeling an exhilaration. Not a crazy high, but this powerful upliftment of the spirit in doing something good. And the reason that you feel like that is it is because it is part of your eternal spiritual nature to engage in this way, to offer kindness and service. This is part of our spiritual nature. But, you know, with the, the way things are going, we're, we're moved away from this to the realm of selfishness. So, um, is this okay? Anybody mad at me? <laughs> Um, so all the things that we've talked about, you know, in, in what is your life's compass? And we've got, and, and you can refer to it on the web and stuff, you know, a list of, of qualities that we're, we are encouraged to actively cultivate. We, just as, just as society has cultivated excessive greediness, excessive envy of what others have. This is, this is the only principle behind advertising. The recognition that you are all empty. All big advertising agencies know this. Everybody's empty. Everybody's looking to fill up that hole. And then the next thing that they do is show you, they associate a product or a service with somebody manifesting fulfillment, happiness, and they draw this connection. If you have that, that will fill up this hole. This will fill up this empty space. It's envy of what others have, fundamentally. We need to cultivate any, I mean, and, and I, like I mentioned, there's a whole list there, I mean, pick three or four or five of them and make a decision. This is, this is what I want to be important in my life. These, these underlying things I'm going to really focus on and I'm going to, throughout my life, not just an emotional, you know, commitment, oh, yeah, I want to do this or try it and then burn out. Yeah, you, you'll burn out in a couple of weeks of trying to cultivate these things. But it has to be bigger than that. You have to make a commitment that I'm going to keep revisiting this. And when I waver, when I go off course, I'm going to go back to that and I'm going to cultivate it because it's in my interest to do it. And it's in everybody else's interest that I'm connected with for me to do this. And choose 
what are going to be your guiding principles in life? What's going to constitute your compass? But I tell you, these two things are critically important. Showing kindness and helping others and having some clear, clear purpose, more than self-centeredness. So in closing, I'll just read a couple of verses from a very wonderful ancient text known as the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Um, the great spiritual teacher from over 530 plus years ago, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he made the following statements. One who has taken their birth as a human being should make their life successful, that's number one, and work for the benefit of all other people. So these are the two things. And of course, the definition of, of making your life successful, the purpose of your being should be self-realization, to come to know your true and eternal spiritual self and live true to that identity, not the false temporary identity of the body that you're currently occupying and the myriad of desires that can flood the mind. This is the foundation. And of course, working for the benefit of others. In the another two verses, he states, it is the duty, the duty of all living beings to perform welfare work for the uh, welfare activities for the benefit of others with one's life, wealth, intelligence, and work. By their work, thoughts, and words, an intelligent person must perform actions which will be beneficial for all living entities in this life and in the next. So there we have a heavy focus on uh, spiritually beneficial things, but that doesn't preclude, you know, helping somebody in distress and need the recognition that with this current life, I will encounter all kinds of people in different situations, but don't limit your help to just like material benefit because that passes. Okay, that's it. That's the closeout for the series. Anybody have a question? Was it too serious? It'd be good if it was. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm sorry, I can't hear so well. Yeah. So we we cannot affect the world in the way that we need to without ourselves changing. Michael Jackson? <laughs> now these these are eternal truths. It's not just the man in the mirror. You know, we, we need to become what we want to see in others. And so there are two, there are just two things that are, that are critical and indispensable. One is the cultivation of the understanding of my true and eternal spiritual being that we're completely lost to. I mean, you ask most people, who are you? Describe yourself. All you're going to get is a list of characteristics of the body and what the body looks like. Right or not? And maybe some mental attraction, or oh, I like this kind of thing, or I'm attracted to this, or whatever. That's not you. You, you, are, the, the, you are the source of life. You are the person within. But we have no knowledge of this. So there is a need to cultivate an understanding 
and an increased spiritual awareness of our eternal being. That's foundational. The way in which that will happen is, apart from the cultivation of understanding, it's this process of meditation. Meditation means I expose myself to that which is transcendental. That is what meditation is not about your mind. Your mind is material, it's not spiritual. It's taking your body and your mind and, and yourself and placing it, immersing it in that which is spiritual or transcendental. And over time, it will have the effect of gradually raising the veil so that we can directly perceive our actual spiritual identity and the identity of others. And that will radically influence how we look at the world, how we look at and interact with others, and, and what we think is important and how we are going to live. So if you don't go through that internal transformation, then you can try to adopt things externally, and it may help for a little while, but the tendency for us will be to always veer back towards or get pulled into, you know, the conditioning that's been there since time immemorial. So if we want to break through that, those two things are, are essential and foundational. And then on top of that, there's a whole bunch of things that you can do, like we talked about cultivating, deciding, what, what are qualities that I need to take on board in my life that's going to make me a better person and going to make it so that I have a more spiritual experience of life and to do actual good for others? Okay? Good enough? So it's, it's, if, if you're tending to be a little bit lazy, this kind of like, oh, it sounds like a lot of hard work. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a little bit of hard work. And, and what's the way to overcome that? The way to overcome that, this is called satsang or sangha. Sangha means spiritual association. By mixing with people that have the same desire, that are heading in the same direction, building relationship finding people that are more spiritually advanced than myself. I need to go and find people that are more spiritually advanced than me and, and place myself in their sphere of influence. That inspires me. It gives me energy. It makes me understand, yeah, I can, I can do this. Yeah. Sorry, young gentleman's question at the end. I don't think you heard this how can we influence others to make this change? And I guess what you're saying is we make the change ourselves and that will influence others. Yeah. That's, yeah. We start with ourself. It doesn't mean we don't try to reach out to others, but we start with ourself. I can't give somebody something I don't have. I can introduce them to somebody else that's got something and who may share it. But the idea of helping others is really, really, really important. And we should seek in our life to expand our sphere of influence and to have a positive and uplifting influence, a spiritual influence on everybody in our sphere of influence. They may willingly take it on board or begrudgingly or a little tiny bit or not be interested. doesn't matter. You just continue to be kind and supportive and helpful. Okay. Thank you very, very much. Hari Bol. So, the process to bring transformation 
to bring self-realization. I'll chant the mantra Hari Bol Nitai Gaur and then may switch into something else.
you very much. Thank you so much, Charidas. Our utmost gratitude sharing these uh, wonderful thoughts and knowledge. Please accept my humble obeisances and thank you so much. All oh, glories to Shiguru and Shiguranga, Chai Jaya Sankirtan. And everyone, thank you so much for joining and staying online. Thank you, Doc Beth, for uh, joining us and Anvet and other uh, devotees around the world. All right. Uh, to start of our share of my kirtan, I'll start it here. San Pedro Laguna, Philippines. Thank you so much. And please stay online. Let's chant. Namaste.
Namaste everyone. Thank you so much.
Shanti with you. All glories to Shiguru and Shiguranga, Chaya Jaya Sankirtan. And everyone, thank you so much for joining and staying online. Let's pray to our all friends and devotees around the world for suffering, pain, and Namaste. From my place, San Pedro Laguna, Philippines, let's fly to crush the Russia. Let's welcome Julia and Dimitri. Haribo, namaste. Nice oh, to see you. Namaste, nice to see you again. And that's it, Haribo. Laguna Vakas. Haribo. Thank you so much. Haribo.
Dimitri, Julia, for chanting the holy names. So please, please, with all glories to Shiguru and Shiguranga, Chai Jaya Sankirtan. Our utmost gratitude. Always take care and be safe. Hari Bol. Namaste. Hari Bol. Namaste. Hare Krishna. Hari Bol. All right, from Crash Ruda, Russia, Dimitri and Julia, let's fly to UK. Let's welcome. Sir Aldi, Hari Bol Namaste, Sir Aldi. Hari Bol, Sir Aldi, are you there? All right, while waiting for Sir Aldi to come in the Zoom, so let's have a short curtain. Uh -oh. 
Thank you so much for joining. Namaste. Uh -huh. Namaste, Haribo. Namaste. Very nice to see you. I'm sorry, I have a technical problem. It's okay, sir. Nice to see you it's too. Okay now. Yes. Yes. Namaste. Namaste. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prestaya Butale. Shimate Siddhas Parupananda Paramaham Saiti Namine Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Butale Shimate Siddhas Parupananda Paramaham Saiti Namine Namam Siddhas Parupananda Paramaham Sanamine Gura Karuna Svarupaya, Radha Krishna Prestayate, Nama Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prestaya Bhutale, Shimate Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Tinamine, Nama Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prestaya Bhutale, Shimate Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Tinamine, Nama Om Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Namine, Gura Karuna Sparupaya, Radha Krishna Prestayate, Namaste Saraspati Deva, Gura Vani Precharine, Nirviseisa Sunyavadi, Pashachade Satarine, Namaste Saraspati Deva, Guravani Prechtarine, Nirviseisa Sunyavadi, Pashachade Satarine, Namo Mahavadanyaya, Krishna Prema Predayate, Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namine, Guratvise Namaha, Namo Brahmanya Devaya, Dobramana Hitayacha, Jagat Hitaya Krishnaya, Dovindaya Namona Mah. Vajra Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nichinanda, Shri Advaita, Gadadhar, Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Bhaja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichinanda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Bhaja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichinanda 
Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhakta Vrindam Bhaja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichinanda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhakta Vrindam Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Ki Krishna, Karuna Sindhu, Dina Bandhu Jagat Pate, Gopi Sha, Gopi Kakanta, Radha Kanta Namo Sutta Ki Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagat Pate Gopi Sha Gopi Kakanta Radha Kanta Namo Sutta Hari Haraye Namah Krishna Yadavaya Namah Yadavaya Madhavaya Kesavaya Namah Hari Haraye Namah Krishna Yadavaya Namah Yadavaya Madhavaya Kesavaya Namah Gopala Govinda Rama Shimadu Sudana Kiridari Gopinata Madana Mohana Gopala Govinda Rama, Shimadu Sudana, Giridari Gopinata Madana Mohana, Shi Chaitanya Nichinanda, Shi Advaita Sita, Hari Guru Vaishnava Bhagavad Gita, Shi Chaitanya Nichinanda, Shi Advaita Sita, Hari Guru Vaishnava Bhagavad Gita, Hari Haraye Namah. Krishna Yadavaya Namah, Yadavaya Madhavaya Kesavaya Namah. Jaya Radha Madhava, Kumja Vihari. Jaya Radha Madhava, Kumja Vihari. Gopi Janabalaba. Giribaradari, Gopi Janabala Ba, Giribaradari, Yasodenandana, Braja Jana Ranjana, Yasodenandana, Braja Jana Ranjana, Jamunatira Banachari, Jamunatira Banachari, Jayarada Madhava. Kumja Bihari, Jaya Radha Madhava, Kumja Bihari, Gopi Janabalaba, Giri Bharadari, Gopi Janabalaba, Giri Bharadari, Yasodhanandana, Raja Janaranjana, Yasodhanandana, Raja Janaranjana, Jamunatira Banachari, Jamunatira Banachari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare.
Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Jaya Radhe, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindavan, Shri Govinda Gopinata Madana Mohana, Jaya Radhe, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindavan, Shri Govinda Gopinata Madana Mohana, Shama Kunda Radha Kunda, Giri Govardham, Kalindi Jamuna Jaya Jaya Mahavan, Shama Kunda Radha Kunda, Giri Govardham, Kalindi Jamuna Jaya Jaya Mahavan, Jaya Jaya Sira Prabhupada, Jaya Guru De, Jaya Jaya Shira Prabhupat, Jaya Guru De, Jaya Jaya Shira Prabhupat, Jaya Goranga, Jaya Jaya Shira Prabhupat, Jaya Goranga, Jaya Jaya Lodha Shimhadev, Jaya Prahlat Maharaj, Jaya Jaya Lord Nashim Hadev, Jaya Prahlat Maharaj, Namaste Narashim Haya, Prahlad Ahlad Adayane, Iranya Kashi Puvaksaha, Shri Hatan Kanakalaye, Niton Shinga Paraton Shingo, Yato Yato Yanitaton Shingo, Vahir nishingo hridaye nishingo nishinga madim saranam prapadaye tavakala kamala vadena kam abutashingam dalita hiranyaka shiputa nubringam keishavadrita narahari rupa jai jagadisha hare jai jagadisha hare Jai Jagadisha Hare. Namaste Haribo, Jaya Guru Dev, Jaya Nitai God, Jaya Sankirtan Haribo. Haribo. Thank you, Sir Aldi, for delivering the holy name so tenderly sweet. All glories to Shiguru and Shiguranga. Jai Jaya Sankirtan. Always take care, Sir. Namaste Haribo. Haribo. All right, from UK, let's fly to Ukraine. Let's welcome our next guest to chant with us, Niklas Lindor. Haribo, namaste, Niklas. Haribo, namaste, namaste, everyone. Haribo. Haribo. Thank you so much, Niklas, for joining. Namaste. 
Thank you so much, Haru. Namao Vishnu Pataya Krishna Pisaya Bhutale Shri Mate Sita Svaru Nanda Aramahamsa Itina Mine <clears throat> Namo Sita Svaru Nanda Paramamsa Namine Gorakaruna Svaru Paya Radha Krishna Prasta Namao Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Namo Bhakti Vedanta Swami Namine Gorakaruna Svarupaya Radha Krishna Prasta Namaste Saraswati Deva Goravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Sunyavari Astacharisha Tarine Namo Maha Padanyaya Krishna Prema Prerayate Krishna Krishna Chaitanya Nami Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichinanda Shri Advaita Gadara Shri Vasadi Kaur Bhaktavri Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya 
Mala, Gopala, Gopala, Rama, Mala, Namo, 
Gently sweet, all oh, glories to Shiguru Shiguranga. Chai Jaya Sankrita. Namaste. Always take care. Haribo. Namaste. Haribo. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Right from Ukraine, let's fly to Siberia, Russia. 
Let's welcome Istanislav. Haribol, namaste. Haribol, namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining again. Haribol. Thank you for inviting me. Our pleasure. Thank you. 
Stanislav delivering the holy name so joyfully sweet. All glory to Shiguru and Shiguranga. Jai Jaya Sankirtan. Namaste and always be safe. Haribo. Namaste. Haribo. Thank you. Hope to see you again soon. From Siberia, Russia. Let's fly to Poland. Let's welcome our dear, of course, Rania. Haribo. Namaste. And Sir Jacek, we're happy to see you. Haribo. 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 <laughs> We are very happy to see you. Uh, and please accept this uh, prasadam flowers. Two. Two. One very small and one a little bit bigger. Thank and, you so much. Thank and you. please accept also <laughs> this uh, sweet candy. Haribo. Thank you for sharing your prasadam. Haribo. We humbly accept it. Thank you so much. Namaste. Namaste. Haribo to Laguna Bhakta family. Haribo to all devotees. Haribo. Thank you for your heart. Haribo. Haribo.
And Sir Jacek, we're very happy to see you again, delivering the holy name so sweetly and beautiful. All glories to Shiguro and Shiguranga. Chai Jaya Sankirtan. Be safe and be well. Namaste. Thank you so much. Haribo. Haribo. Thank you very much, Narayan Dasi. Mahata Yoni Krishna. Haribo. Mahata Yoni Krishna. Haribo. Thank you so much. All right, from Poland, let's fly to Tashkent City, Uzbekistan. Let's welcome our dear Julia. Namaste, Julia. Nice to see you again. Thank you so much for joining. Hi, Paul. Namaste, I'm great to know you. Thank you. Hi, Paul. Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Pesaya, Mutale, Shimate Sida, Spupananda, Paramahansa, Jitane, Namao Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Pesaya. Krishna, 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 Krishna,
Thank you so much, Julia, for delivering the holy name so sweetly. All glories to Shikuru and Shikuranga. Jai Jai Sankita. Namaste. Always be safe. Haribo.
All right. From Tuscan City, Uzbekistan, let's fly to, let's move to Michael Russia. Let's welcome Dennis Echo. Haribo Namaste, Dennis. Haribo Namaste, Narayan Dashi. Haribo Namaste, everyone. Oh, yes. Yeah. Dennis, for joining again. Yes. No, so I chant a little bit without guitar. All right, it's okay. Nama Om Vishnu Padayam Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shri Mate Siddha Swarupananda Paramahamsa Itinamine Nama Om Vishnu Padayam Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shri Mate Siddha Svarupananda Paramaham Saiti Namine Namo Siddha Svarupananda Paramaham Sanamine Gora Karuna Svarupaya Radha Krishna Prestayate Namo Siddha Svarupananda Paramahamsa Namine Gora Karuna Svarupaya Radha Krishna Prestayate Namo Siddha Svarupananda Paramahamsa Namine Gura Karuna Svarupaya Radha Krishna Prestayate Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vidanta Swaminiti Namine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vidanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deva Gauravani Pracharine Nereshesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Namaste Saraswati Deva Gauravani Pracharine Nereshesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatari Nama Maha Vadanaya Krishna Prema Prebayate Krishna Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gurat Vishinama Namo Mahavadanaya Krishna Prema Predayate Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gurat Vishinama Namo Mahavadanaya Krishna Prema Predayate Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gaurat Vishe Nama Namo Brahmanya Devaya Go Brahmana Hitaya Cha Jagat Hitaya Krishna ya Govinda ya namo nama Namo Brahmanya Devaya 
go brahmana hitaya cha jagat hitaya krishnaya govindaya namo nama raja shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda shri advaita gadatha Shri Vasade Gur Bhakta Vrindam Bhaja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadatha Shri Vasade Gur Bhakta Vrindam Raja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadabha Shri Vasati Gaur Bhakta Vrindam Raja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadego Bhakta Vrita Vaja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasate Gur Bhakta Vrinta Gopala Govinda Rama Shri Mato Sudana Giridhare Gopinatha Mahatana Mohana Gopala Govinda Rama Shri Mato Sudana Giridhare Gopinatha Krishna, Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna Krishna, Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Gopala Govinda Rama, Shri Madhusudana. Karen Day.
Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. 
Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna. Ha 
Thank you so much, Dennis, for delivering the holy name so pleasurable, sweet. All glories to Shiguro and Shiguranga. Jaya Jaya Satkirtan. Namaste and always take care. Haribo. 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 <laughs> All right. From Lake Michael, Dennis Marco, let's fly to Europe. Let's welcome our dear Radha. Jassi. Haribo. Hey, Haribo. Hi, Paul. Namaste. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you well. Thank you so much, Radha.
Radharasi of Europe yeah. for delivering the holy name so sweetly. All glories to Shiguru and Shiguranga. Chai Jaya Sankirtan. Be safe and be well, Radha. Haribo. Haribo. Right from the Philippines. Let's welcome our admin, Laguna Bhakta devotees. Haribo. Namaste. Hari Bol. Right, while waiting for Laguna Bhakta devotees, let's have a short kirtan while they're preparing. Okay, namaste.
you so much, Admin Laguna Bacta Devotees, for the wonderful rock out curtain. It's so enjoyable and pleasurable. All glories to Shiguro and Shiguranga. Chai Jaya Sankirtan. And thank you, everyone, for joining the Sankirtan here. All right. From Philippines, we have another guest from Philippines. Let's welcome Sir Jatur Bujadas and Indian devotees. Hari Bol, Namaste, sir. All right, uh, while waiting, so let's welcome Marius and Diana of Romania. Sorry, Harry Ball, Namaste. Thank you for the Harry Ball, Namaste. Oh, glorious, Shiguru and Shiguranga. Harry Ball, baby Rada, Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Prestaya Bhutale Shrimad Siddha Swarupananda Paramaham Saiti Namide This is 
All glories to Shiguro and Shiguranga. Chaya Jaya Sankirtan. Namaste and be safe. Haribo! Haribo! Namaste! Haribo! Namaste! Baby Rada is behaved now. <laughs> it's not